So Taylor is among the league leaders, averaging 35 minutes per game. They need a lot out of him. Give and go back to Crawford. And he's able to finish. Looks like that ankle is doing a little bit. Jasper's playing with a pair of point guards together, the veteran Wilson. Waterman uses the window for his first two. He teaches defense. They play that zone where they switch, and then they turn it into a man. These guys are just getting used to that. In January, he expects to start to Xavier Park Jr. kicked or tried to trip an opponent. We just couldn't believe it. I don't think the people around the Duke program can believe what has occurred time and again. In this recent game, I don't know if you saw that, too. People yeah. thought he was drifting into the stands for that ball. Slam. And they're playing Duke, but when he played there, I asked, or when he coached there, excuse me, I asked him what he learned from Rick Pitino the most, and he said it was preparation. Three ball by Turner. Yeah, I mean, Ryder, I would have never have thought they'd be all the way up top there. So this is a wide open lead, though. We've got to love that about the Mavs, more so this year than in years past. Turner for Manette. Waterman and Perk inside. Five minutes to go in the half. Here is Usilla. Jump stop. Rises up and gets the roll. There's a stoppage back within seven. And let's see if Manhattan, with under four minutes to go in the half, can use that change in momentum to get a little closer. Wilson back to Waterman, wide open. And a technical foul has been called against. That won't be defined by basketball, but his basketball abilities are unbelievable once he puts it all together. Out of Nazareth High School in Brooklyn, New York. Same alma mater as former NBA head coach Mike Dunley. It makes him look younger. <laughs> We warned him before the game, we put that up, and he's figuring right now his phone is probably blowing up a little bit. He said his uh, players would certainly give him some grief. Zane Waterman makes it a four-point ball game. One of the most famous people throughout his entire life, and yet he's a really humble guy, coming back and said. And his, his dad also had that Love and Hip Hop show for a while, a reality show that I think Stevie would buy at night. And not a threat to shoot from the perimeter. Waterman, though, is spotting up. Big three for the Jaspers. Pretty shot. Slightly late. Play. They give up a Waterman three. Three seconds to go. A beautiful stroke by Zane Waterman, helping to pick up some of the slack. Not only this year, but here tonight. That's all of his screen and he sets a really solid screen where he rolls out and then there's a matchup issue there he knows what double double but here in the Bronx it's tough sled right now so when in doubt grab it Real Thomas with a hard head Waterman he'll have a chance for another three Turner with a nice pass Little shot fake action here, and then the defense looked like it was a little bit late. He's so. Here goes Turner in a blaze of speed. Tied at 61 multiple times, most recently against Fordham back in November. He's been a beast tonight. Really assertive. Crawford, a contested jump shot, and the Jaspers and dump the route. Wilson hustling back for the block. Incredible hustle by Wilson defensively. That Washington Ives, the defensive assignment on the lightning quick Xavier Turner who picks up his dribble. Wilson, they just dare him to shoot. He thinks better of it to find Waterman. A new career high. You okay with Manhattan working a little clock here, Julianne? I'm okay with it. I think you see Steve Vaz over there telling his guys to slow down a little bit here. Get a good shot. I 
would agree. It's raining buckets for Zane Waterman. And that is why. Let's look at this here. Yeah, oof. He had a chance. They got a good look. That's the look you want. Three of the MAC conference. Anything can happen in Manhattan. Played extremely hard tonight. They defended their home court. They got a much needed win for their second consecutive.